In the Bible, God said, In the day that you sin, you shall surely die. Whenever I read that part of the Bible, I assume that the meaning of the word sin means, In the day that I commit a wrong, I shall surely die. Another way of looking at it, In the day that I disobey God, I shall surely die. I've always thought of that. Until one day, when I opened the scripture and read it in the Hebrew language. What exactly does the Hebrew language say? How is sin, the word sin, how is it written in the Hebrew language? In the Hebrew language, it is kata, which means missing the mark. What does that mean? So let me illustrate to you by drawing. I'm drawing a person aiming a dart onto a dartboard. The target is at the center of the board. That's the mark which he is hoping to achieve. And sin is defined as missing that mark. That means that anywhere outside the center of the board, he would be sinning. So it's not about right or wrong. It's about failure to achieve your goal. Neither does it mean disobedience. It is more a failure to achieve a standard. So the question we must ask is, what is my standard? What is the true standard? And we know that God made man in his image, and therefore God expects a man to be himself, which is the image of God. In other words, sin is the failure to achieve me, the failure to achieve what God has made in me to be. It's not about I being wrong, but rather that I have failed to be me, the way God has expected me to be. It is about disobeying God, yes, but more important, it's about disobeying me. So let's try to understand this very carefully. God is not giving you a mark which belongs to somebody else. That would be unfair. God is asking you to achieve your own mark. God is asking you to achieve the way He has made you to be. That's what it means, failure to achieve the mark. What's the mark? My mark. Nobody is expecting you to go after another person's standard. Everybody is expecting you to meet to your own standard, the way God had blessed you with. So this is how beautiful the world we are made with. This is a very fair and just world. God expects us to be me. But are we being me? That is where the problem lies. Most of us live the life of somebody else. Most of us, we want to be this, we want to be that. But we forget who we are. But God is not expecting you to be somebody else. God wants you to be yourself. Every human being is created with a clear soul. Yes, that's very true. Right where you are, there is clarity in everything. But for some reason, our world gets more because of our greed. Because you want to be like someone else. We want to be wealthier, more wealthy than the other guy. We are not satisfied to be ourselves. We are born with a clear soul. Just remember that. And God expects us to be as I am.